All right, so now we can uh, go back to the bridge. Welcome back, sir. That mission was certainly easier than we expected. <laughs> so you can see that the options here have changed, which would be the case uh, between each mission. And on the bridge, Tyke has disappeared. So again, after you complete missions and you come back into uh, what we're kind of calling the story mode space, there'll be the characters will have changed, you'll see new characters, some characters will have left, and the way you can interact with them will have changed. So we're going to go ahead and try to figure out where Tychus went. Matt? Where's Tychus? I don't know, sir. He said he had to take a leak. In that suit? Look, from now on, keep tabs on him, all right? Is there something you're not telling me, sir? All sorts of stuff, Matt. Just you. If I know Tychus Finman, he's in the cantina right now. Keep an eye on things, Matt. I'm gonna go grab a drink. So you find that uh, Jim Rayner likes to drink a lot. So we've decided to add a uh, cantina space also to the, uh, the Hyperion that you'll be able to go to at any time. You guys enjoy that? Yeah. You want to see more? Yeah. Not today. <laughs> but I do have a couple more things I, I'm just going to kind of sum up. So, you know, like talking about those previous games, you know, one of the biggest things we're adding is the ability to choose your own mission. We really felt like that was important and something you're going to be able to do in StarCraft II. We're still keeping the concept of all the really varied and interesting missions that you saw in Warcraft 3. Hopefully we can even one-up ourselves again. You know, the StarCraft 2 editor is even more powerful than the War 3 one, one was. And you're going to see a lot more layered story and subplots. You know, one of the things that uh, was really cool about Warcraft 3 was we had integrated the characters and the story into the mission, but at the same time, some of the story was hampered by that. You know, because we always had to keep the mission going, there are certain types of cutscenes we didn't want to do within the mission with the, uh, those characters. And by taking that into the story mode space, we're going to be able to do even more interesting story that you can interact with how you want to interact with it. So, and then of course the uh, immersive universe is the other big point. You, know, you can kind of see just from the planetary maps that you're going to be able to get a lot more sense of the StarCraft universe itself and the characters that reside within it. So what's next? What haven't I shown you? Well, for one, the return of Kerrigan. <laughs> She's still creeping around as the Queen of Blades, so you can expect to see some major plot lines with her in the Zerg campaign and the Protoss campaign, where we're going to start talking about the mystery of the Zelnaga, which I'm sure some of the people that have been in reading the lore, know that they're out there, and the artifacts that are referred to in there are actually Zelnaga artifacts that you'll learn about and ultimately start finding out who the Zelnaga are and, and what's happening with them in the universe itself. 